Hey everybody, welcome to this Monday edition of The Janky Show. I'm calling it Manic Monday. Um, not because it really is a Manic Monday, because I don't really like have a real job, so I don't get like the Monday blues, because Monday's kind of like Saturday to me, which is kind of awesome, but also kind of sucks. Anyway, um... I wanted to talk to you about the VMAs today and just kind of give you my recap, if you will. So, the show was hosted by Chelsea Handler, and I saw a lot of people on Twitter and Facebook kind of bashing Chelsea. And, um, well, let me just tell you my general synopsis of the show is that it sucked. <laughs> the end. No, um, and so I feel like she sucked too because she was part of the show, but I have to say that I really like her and I think she's funny and, um, I've read her books and I just think that she's awesome. And so it kind of sucks that all these people are bashing her because I'm still a fan. Do I think that she sucked at the, sh on the show last night? Yeah, kind of. But do I think the whole show sucked? Yes. So there's that. Um, so let's see. Uh, I guess I'll talk about the things that I liked since there's only like a couple. I really liked Eminem's performance. Um, it was cool to see him kind of back in it and, um, it was cool that Rihanna was there seeing her little part. I definitely didn't like their ending like b-boy pose that they did. <laughs> it was a little odd. Um, so he was really cool. Uh, let's see what else I like. I liked Florence and the Machine. I've kind of been digging them for a while since I saw them on, uh, or a song of theirs on So You Think You Can Dance. So that's kind of cool that their group got that exposure, or I guess it was just her, really. Um, who else did I really like? I liked um, Linkin Park. I thought they did really good. Um... I don't really know who else I like. Those are the only two that are standing out to me right now. Um, hmm. What? <laughs> Amy's over there again. <laughs> you, said, uh, you said only two, but you said three things. Oh, I said three things. Yeah. Okay. So, okay, cool. Anyway, um, yeah, my ma I'm not a mathematician, obviously. Um... So, yeah, those were the things that I liked. I also really liked um, the preview for Jackass 3D. If you saw the pre-show, um, the Jersey Shore crew got to see it. I think it's really weird. Like, I get that Jersey Shore is their sort of cash cow right now, but they treat them like they're these huge superstars, and they act it up like they're these huge superstars. Superstars? Stores? A superstore. <laughs> that is where superstars shop. At super stores. Anyway, um, so I'm really stoked to see a Jackass 3D, and um, it's always sunny in Philadelphia. I had their sort of previews for the upcoming season, which I'm really excited about too. And um, that's pretty much it for the hits. Now the misses. Um, okay, so everything else basically. Um, Lady Gaga is kind of like this crazy bipolar schizophrenic lady. I've decided after last night. Um, she was all over the place. Her outfits, I know they're known for being outrageous, but here's my question. How do you walk in nine and a half inch heels? I'm pretty sure that's what those were. I didn't, like, that's just an approximation, but I don't understand. Like, don't you know that what you're wearing is not a good idea when you have to have two huge men help you stand up? And then, like, I don't know how she was even able to walk up those stairs on her own. And then the meat dress and the meat purse I don't understand at all it doesn't make any sense to me um Cher wearing has Cher been wearing that outfit since her if I could turn back time video I'm just wondering she's like 150 years old I don't understand her relevance on the show last night speaking of being old there was this pop tarts commercial I I, I DVR'd it so I kind of like fast forwarded through most of the commercials unless they looked interesting to me and I saw this one and it was like you could win a million pop tarts and that is when I realized people that I'm old a million pop tarts that doesn't even sound interesting to me, and I love me some Pop-Tarts. This is when I realized I am getting old, and possibly am too old to be watching MTV, when a million Pop-Tart giveaway 
holds no significance in my mind and didn't even, I didn't even process it. It wasn't even worth my time. So that was the VMAs and uh, that's pretty much all that I came up with for my review because like I said, it was really disappointing. Um, Justin Bieber, I'm not even going to discuss. He, to me, is like Spencer Pratt. I'm not even going to discuss him because in my world, he doesn't exist. Sorry for all of you grown-ass women that love Justin Bieber. We need to have a talk. <laughs> And Amy's one of them. We need to discuss this woman because that's just scary. He is 12. He looks 12. And um, he lip synced last night, which gets two thumbs down for me. Oh, one more thing. Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. Okay. Listen, she's a great songwriter, and I get that she was young and motivated, and I give her props for that. But she cannot sing live, and she shouldn't sing live. That, that's all. She should lip sync the end. Stop trying to sing. Like, at least Justin Bieber acknowledges that he can't sing live and he's lip syncing. At least his people acknowledge that. Taylor Swift's people are letting her think that she can sing and she can't. And, um, the whole Kanye thing, I almost wish that he had done something just as crazy as he did last year because other than that, the show was so boring. Um, Kanye, the autotune thing is a little bit out of control. And I will end my vlog on toasting the douchebags and the assholes. Cheers. Have a great Monday.